I've got a confession to make just between you and I. I've never sanitized our water tank in our Airstream. But we're going to correct that right now. So in preparing for this video, I did a lot of reading on sanitizing your uh, fresh water tank. And from what I've read, people say you should sanitize your water tank if the water's been in there for over two weeks. You should sanitize it every spring when you pull your RV out of the storage and the tank has been empty and you refill it. Um, and you should sanitize your tank every six months under normal use. Now we fall into the more of the normal use aspect of that. Our trailer does get used quite a bit. And so the tank, the water in the tank doesn't sit there too long and then it gets used again. So we're all constantly, you know, filling the tank and using the water and filling the tank at least once every two weeks or so when we're traveling a lot of times more often than that. So I've been kind of comfortable that our tank isn't too bad, but we've never cleaned it. And so I want to do that today. And I've always been kind of leery about the cleaning process or the sanitizing process of a water tank, you know, especially the adding the bleach. And in my experience in the past with other RVs, when I've added bleach to the water tank and then flushed it out and then refilled it, the water in the tank smells and tastes like bleach for months afterwards. It takes a lot of cycles of water to get that out of there. Now, I probably didn't put the right mixture of bleach in there. You're only supposed to use, I think, a quarter of a cup for every 10 gallons or something like that. So one cup of bleach for a 40 gallon tank, like about what we have, is all you're really supposed to put it. And you're supposed to dilute that before you put it in the tank and a whole bunch of other stuff. So it gets a little complicated to get it done right. And that's probably one of the biggest reasons I've never done it. But our friends at Clear 2.0 have come out with a new product. They have this tank fresh. And it's a water tank treatment system, and it's designed to be used in your fresh water tank like we got here for boats or RVs. And it's a bleach-free formula, which I really like. Um, it's biodegradable. It's uh, one gallon treats to 100 gallons, so we got a gallon here of it that should, actually, yeah, we got a gallon here of it that should treat our tank at least twice, maybe even three times. Um, there's no, it eliminates sulfur smells, um, it's a multifunctional shock and cleans the RV system, and it's sealant safe. So it's designed not to harm any of the um, sealants or seals or plumbing or anything in your system. So we're going to do this, and we're going to start by first, we've drained all the water out of the um, airstream. So our main water tank drains kind of slow, so I've already done that. Um, I usually typically will open up that drain, let it drain overnight to get it all empty. So we've done that. We've also drained the hot water tank because we want to flush that too. So the next step is to add new water to the tank and then add the solution. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a half a tank of water. Then I'm going to add the solution in there, and then I'm going to add the other half a tank of water. And the idea is the additional water coming in will mix the two together very well. Once we do that, we're going to go inside, and we're going to turn on the water pump, and we're going to open up some valves, and we're going to let the system flush some water through the plumbing. At the same time, we're going to allow the system to fill the hot water tank. And then again, we'll probably add a little more um, water to the main tank, because I want to keep the main tank level fairly full. I don't want it to drop down by the, uh, I don't know if it's six or nine gallons that the hot water tank has. After that, once we've flushed this solution through all the pipes and we've run the faucets for three, four minutes or whatever it is to get water all the way through the faucets and, and through the system, we're going to shut it down and we're going to let it sit. We're going to let it sit, I guess, let's see what it says on the instructions. It's always good to read. So it says here to remain, let the treated water remain in the system for only 30 minutes. 
Um, I've read where if you're using the bleach, bleach solution, they recommend four hours to even as much as overnight. So it looks like this will work much faster than the other. Once we got that done, we're again, open up the valves, flush more water through the system before draining it. Then we're gonna open up the drains. We're gonna let this drain. It's biodegradable, so it's not gonna hurt the environment. So we can just let it drain out on the ground where you wouldn't wanna do that with bleach. Bleach, they actually recommend you to run all the water through your system and into your holding tank and then dump your holding tank. We're not gonna do that. We're actually just in our driveway here at home. So this is something that it can be done easily at your house and not have to worry about the solution and the environment. So once we've done all that, we're gonna refill the system with water. We're gonna run all the uh, faucets again, get fresh water into the um, hot water tank and all through all the lines, make sure they're all flushed out. And we may even dump that and refill it again, but it says you don't really need to do that a second time. So we'll see, we'll see how it is. But the beauty of this is it's you're not supposed to leave any odor or aftertaste or anything into your system. Compared to the bleach, like I said, I never liked. So let's get started. We're gonna start by getting the hose and adding a little water to the tank and we're gonna get it about half full. Make sure you close the water tank drain before you start. You don't wanna just be putting water in and having it drain out the bottom. All right, you probably already saw that we've achieved half a tank of water. So I'm gonna pull the hose out and we're now going to add the tank fresh into it. Fortunately, I just tried to pour that in there. It's going to go all over everywhere. So I need a funnel or something. Now I could probably just get some type of funnel, but I didn't have one. So I came up with this. And this is a water bottle with a hole in it. And so the idea is I can just stick this into the trailer and pour right in here and this will work like a funnel. So let's add half a gallon in there. All right, that's a half a container, actually probably just a little bit more. Um, shout out to Keith at clear 2 o Nice to have some markings on the side of this. Let me know how much I'm using so that I can kind of judge what a half a container is a little easier. But hey, future improvements for you. So let's start adding the rest of the water, get the solution all mixed up, and we'll do that until the tank is full. All right, as you can see, our tank overflowed and it's now full. So the next step is we're gonna go inside the trailer, we're gonna turn on the water pump, and we're gonna run some water through the lines. One of the things we wanna do is make sure that we get water into the hot water tank, so that is full. And once we do that, we probably will come back out here and add a little bit more water, because I want the tank to be essentially full with the solution right up to the top, so it essentially cleans the whole tank, not leave a ga an air gap at the top where you know, we've used some of that water up. Okay, I'm gonna start by turning on the water pump. You can hear it running in the background as it primes itself. And then I'm gonna turn this all the way over to hot water and I'm gonna open it up and let it run. 
And this will take a little bit because basically what we're doing is we've got to fill that hot water tank. And that's what's happening right now. That's why we're not seeing any water come out. So now we're getting water coming out of the faucet from the hot water tank. And we're getting the air out of there. Well, you may not be able to see it. It is coming out a little foamy. So we're going to let this run for a little bit until the water starts to flow pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the cold water, run that for a while, turn to uh, a different faucet, the faucet in the bathroom, run that. Same thing with the shower. We're going to get them all run a little bit, make sure we got some water in all the pipes. Clear 2O recommends that you run the water through the lines for about three minutes. So I'm going to do that for each faucet, three minutes for each faucet. So I'm not going to make you watch all that. We're just kind of jump ahead to the next step. Well, I've flushed the solution through all the pipes inside the trailer, opened up all the faucets, ran water out until I noticed the solution coming in. It comes out a little foamy, so you can tell that you're actually getting it through. Now I'm adding a little bit more water back into the tank. I want to make sure the tank remains full, and then we're just going to let it set for, it says 30 minutes, we'll give it 30 minutes or thereabouts, and then we're going to drain the system start flushing fresh water through everything, drain that, and then we'll be ready to fill the tanks up and go. And when we drain the tanks, we're gonna make sure we drain the hot water tank too. Sounds like it's getting full. Got a full tank. Come on, jump up here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, get up here. Steph. Zephyr, come on. Get up here. Whoa, Zephyr's a good girl. Zephyr's a good girl. Yes, you are. It's been about an hour, and the next step is to reflush all your lines with the solution that's in your tank. So I've opened up all the faucets, and I'm running the water pump. And it says to do this for about three minutes. So we're doing that now. Once that's complete, we'll open up the drains and we're gonna just let the system drain out. Then we'll reload with fresh water, drain that, and then refill the tanks for good. Completely drained the solution out of the tanks and uh, flushed it through the water lines. And so now I'm refilling with clean water. I'm also filtering this water at this point because I want always to put filtered water in the tank if we're going to use it. And we'll fill the tanks, we're going to open up the faucets again, run the pump, and we'll bring some wa more water through to flush out the last of the uh, solution, and we'll be done. So now the question is, what do you do um, to keep your tank clean? And here's one solution here that um, Clear Trills come up with, it's, it's called Tank Fresh. And this is a solution that you can add to your tank every time you fill it, and it will help keep the tank fresh longer. Um, we're gonna give this a try and we're gonna start using it on a regular basis and we will definitely report back to you. This works. They also have tank shock treatment. Now this was, would be used if you start to notice that maybe there's an unpleasant odor in your tank, but you don't wanna go through all the trouble at that time to flush the tank, you know, to drain the tank and flush and everything. Maybe you're on a trip or you're traveling or something. You can add some of this to the tank and it will give it a little bit of a shock, but it's still drinkable and everything that you won't bother you to drink it. So we're gonna keep this on hand too, just in case we need it. And we'll add this in and we'll let you know how this works as we go along too. My plan is now to end today what we're doing here. Future Randy will pop in here in a few, few seconds and he'll talk about how this has been as we've been using it down the road for the past few weeks. I want to thank Clear Troll for providing the tank fresh for this video. When I heard that they were going to offer a new product that gave you a way to clean your freshwater tank without using a bleach, I was all in and I bugged them to send me some to, to try. And they did. They provided this free of charge but the opinions in this video are completely mine. and. I want to tell you a little bit about what I think of this product 
after using it and having it in our tanks and using it for a little while. Now my intention was completely to come to you from some exotic place and along on our travels and everything, but unfortunately life got in the way and that didn't happen. But we did test the product out and we put it in our tanks before we left on our winter trip. And typically when we're on the road for a winter trip, we're living off of our tanks. Um, we, even if we pull into a campground that has water hookup, we po probably won't hook into it unless we need to add water to our tanks. And that's because it's just, you know, we're there for a night and it just doesn't make sense to hook that up. But a lot of the times we're traveling to places where we don't have water. And so it was just a necessity to live off our tanks. And I can tell you that using this um, Tank Fresh, I had zero odors of any type, which tells me that not only did the Tank Fresh do a very good job of cleaning my tanks, but it didn't add any additional odors like you'd get with bleach. Now I've used bleach in the past and it's been terrible. You know, you take a shower and it smells like you're, you're swimming in a, you're taking a shower in a swimming pool. You know, there's a heavy bleach smell to that and I don't like that. So that's one of the things I really like about this product. The other thing that I like about it is that it works. I mean, it, we, we probably don't have the dirtiest tanks because we tend to use our water tank fairly frequently and we tend to use our trailer fairly frequently is really what it comes down to. So the water in the water tank is being cycled on a regular basis. That said, this is a great way to freshen up those tanks, especially if you're parking your trailer for any length of time. Um, we've had the trailer setting for five months now since we came back from California and so it's now it's a perfect time to run this through the ta tanks again and freshen them up so we're ready for our next travels. It's, it's definitely something that I think is um, well overdue. There's really not been a product like this for cleaning your tanks. The typical use of just you know diluting some bleach in there does work but the problem with that is you never get the ratio right and you either don't get enough to get an effective clean or you get too much and everything smells like chlorine and it's very difficult once you get that in there you've got to go through multiple tanks to kind of flush that out and I just I've done that in the past and I've just never been happy with it I've been very pleased with our results with, with this tank fresh and I would recommend you try it well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give us a thumbs up tell your friends about our channel and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel if you like this type of content. We put out videos on a regular basis. We'd love to have you come along. And the subscriptions are absolutely free. We don't charge anything and neither does YouTube. So until the next time, guys, we'll see you down the road. Take care.